the Sony A9 Mark III. I just want to talk about this camera and the state of things, the state of the internet. If you don't know about this camera, one of the big things about this camera is that it has something called global shutter. Global shutter has been around for a while. There are some cameras that have had this technology, like the Red Komodo, the Ursa Mini 4K, and there's some other cameras that have global shutter as well. Now, these are specifically cinema cameras, so they shoot video, but the A9 shoots photos as well, but it's using the same type sensor, a global shutter sensor. What most cameras use, like the FX30 I'm shooting on right now, is what we call a rolling shutter. I'm sure you've heard this term overused and used a lot on YouTube. And basically what it means is the way that the camera, the CMOS sensor captures the image is it scans from the top to the bottom. Once it completes that scan, that is a frame. So if you're dealing with video or photography, that's the way it works. Now, mechanical shutters do the same thing um, but it does it in a different way and I'm not going to get detailed into that But that's why you're allowed to use flash and things like that with cameras that have a mechanical shutter You got high-speed sync or sync speed But then when you talk about a global shutter that changes everything for flash. I think the camera is dope I think the camera is great uh, It has a lot of features that can be helpful to specific types of creators, photographers, things like sports, F1 cars, you're filming something that's moving really quickly and you wanna be able to choose the exact frame that you want. So it can shoot 120 frames per second in photo mode. So that's basically like a video and you're going through just choosing one frame out of that video that can be a photo. That's basically what it is. Now you can be in burst mode on the camera and then you can hold down uh, the speed boost button and that will switch it automatically into this 120 frames per second mode dynamic active stabilization which is supposed to be really good i've never tried the camera uh, it's supposed to be like near light gimbal quality but maybe not as good as a gimbal now the other game changer with this camera is the 80,000, the 1 over 80,000 shutter speed uh, so this just means that you can capture freeze things like crazy so those are some of the specs of the camera and yes th those are some nice numbers those are some crazy things um, but here's my overall thought youtube is very great at sensationalizing things um, once i look through all of the titles of the video they say game changing world changing you know photography will never be the same again this is the beginning of a new era um, you know all these all these headlines to get you to click, you know, um, an actual game changer. The hype is real, you know, um, and listen, you, you have to do those things to exist in YouTube. I watched a video of a top creator and I'm going to say their name and I love this creator, but the first, I'm going to say four minutes of this video was talking about the color of a laptop. The color, the color of the laptop, the, the first four minutes. Um, is there anything wrong with that? No, not in and of itself. There's nothing wrong with it. However, I think we're starting to head down a road where we're losing sight of what's important. And I don't mean just in the camera world. I just mean as a whole with life. We're so materialistic. Uh, we have this fear, a legitimate fear of missing out so much so that people won't even purchase cameras because they're trying to wait for the best thing to come out. And instead of capitalizing on the limited time that we all have to live, we're actually spending our lives waiting for a piece of gear to come out before we live our lives. If I could see how many days I had left to live and I knew a camera was gonna come out in six months, like six months is a huge amount of time to give up to wait for a piece of gear to come out that may not be what the rumors are saying is going to be. If you have an idea, if, some, if you wanna be creative, I don't care if you wanna film flowers, Go do it. Use your use your cell phone, please, because 
you don't know how much time you have left, man. This could be my last video. Something could happen to me after this. I don't know. I push the gear that I believe in. The things that I really believe that people need. I'll tell you, I'm not going to just tell you gear that I think is cool. I'll talk about it, but I'm not going to push gear just to push gear. And I love being a smaller creator for that. And I thank you guys, my eight, almost 9,000 subs. I thank every single one of you guys because it makes me happy to know that I'm helping someone. I'm going to continue to talk about the Sony ZV-E10. I'm going to continue to talk about the cameras that I know about and have experience. Yes, there are a thousand, hundreds of cameras out there that you can choose from. And I think that hundreds of them would work for you. I really do. There's not just one camera that will work for you. So the A9 is a great camera. I don't have it. If Sony sent it to me, I would definitely try it out and I would test it and I'd give you my honest opinion. But as of right now, I still think that some of the best gear to use for social media is your phone, a ZVE 10 or whatever you can get your hands on. So. My message to you guys is this, please do not allow materialism, the acquiring of gear to stop you, to stifle you, to hinder you from moving forward with your life. Do not put your life on hold for a piece of gear. It 100% is not worth it. I'm telling you it's not worth it. But anyway, I know this is a weird Sony A9 Mark III review, but I just, this is just what's on my mind. So I'm putting it out. Until next time, I'll holler at y'all later. I'm out. Peace.